I will give a short presentation regarding a project called Sweden Fishing. Sweden Fishing was uh, actually founded in November last year, and our vision is uh, that Sweden shall become Europe's leading destination for sustainable fishing tourism. It's always good to have a vision, right? Aim for the moon and you will hopefully break some new ground. The business concept is to inform domestic and international audiences about Sweden's varied opportunities for fishing tourism, while marketing the products and service our members offer. And there is also included product development in this business concept. The core values we're working with are sustainable fishing tourism, involved entrepreneurs, quality and competence, and also marketing and product development. At this moment, spring 2014, we have our web platform in uh, 11, 11 languages. We have uh, some 170 companies that are members in the association. And what we can see from the web platform is uh, one concrete example is that there are quite a few PDF files downloaded and those PDF files, we will come back to them <coughs> in just a few minutes. My colleague Yuvan Nadine, back there, he is our webmaster and responsible <coughs> for the website. He is now working with fine tuning for smartphone and tablets release. And we are very much aware of the important uh, situation to get this ready for smartphones and tablets since the traffic is growing from, from those platforms. We have also a list for further developments fixed, but financing for achieving those uh, goals uh, are included in the business plan we are working with right now. The background for this project is uh, back in 2009-2010 when we had an initiative throughout the Swedish leader areas. LEADER is an EU rural development program and we <coughs> made a pilot study in 2009-2010 and after that, we asked the leader areas in Sweden which ones are interested in joining the project. And the ones that are marked with red decided to join, altogether 24 out of 60 some. So the interest was quite good. The project has been running for, for, for three years originally and then it has been prolonged until beginning of 2015. One of the goals with the project was also to have a permanent organization fixed and as we saw in the beginning this has been achieved now in November 2013 when we started the organization. <clears throat> what we do, we work with uh, the resources we have in Sweden, fish of your dreams, we see that the interest <coughs> from the market to come to Sweden and fish is based, made, most, or based mostly on these facts, trout and salmon in Nordic waters, landscape, the light, pristine feeling, also pike and pike perch, of course, uh, in the south and middle of Sweden. And uh, we have a situation where we have short distances to the European continent, and we have also good fishing quality, and we have the nature, of course. 
And what's important to remember is that probably the most important species when it comes to economic uh, value is the pike. The pike is the volume and it has the biggest volume in the southern part and the middle part of Sweden and of course that's also because of the season. The season starts when the ice melts in the spring, in March, and it goes on until the ice comes back in November, December. But in the southern parts and middle parts of Sweden, the water is also a little bit too warm during the summer months. And then it's good that we have such a long country, because up in the north there is also good possibilities for pike fishing in, during the summertime. But also, trout grayling and salmon, of course, are very important species for us. And then we're talking about uh, the northern part of the country, of course, and also the coast parts. We are aware of the situation that many, many choices and tougher and tougher competition uh, makes it harder for us to get more people coming into Sweden to go fishing. There are so many attractive opportunities all around the world and the internet has made it so easy to make your own trip and to find your own dream destination. And Sweden has one big issue to, to work with, and that is that we have a rather tough situation since we are a little bit unknown as a uh, fishing brand when it comes to the international market. And that is mainly what we are trying to work with. And to make progress here, we are working with three different steps. Quality, we have a 10 point platform and uh, follow ups on, on, on those 10 points that we're working with together with the member companies in our, our uh, association. We also work with product development, and when those two steps are ready, the company is all, also ready for marketing. And to help the company getting ready for marketing, we have made these sheets, these PDF files, where you have guidance text, you fill in the information that regards the company, company facts, and also similar sheets for all the product facts. And after that is done, we have printable fact sheets for the company and also for different products the company has. They are priced and all the information that tour operators are asking for or end customers are needing to get to know if the choice they are looking at is corresponding with their wishes can be found on these fact sheets. Also contacts of course, either to tour operators or agents or directly to the destination. And those PDF files are the ones I mentioned at the beginning. We can see that there is quite a few downloads on these PDF files being done. The association is also, of course, working with fan tricks for tour operators and agents and media and press consumer meetings and also tour operator and agent meeting, meetings at different fairs. So far during the project we have done some 30 different fairs throughout Europe and uh, made it possible to have around 8,000 personal meetings. We have also done several road shows this one is actually from Leningrad in Russia. Just to present the variety of the destinations we have in our network and their offers. 
course, we also make market analysis and give feedback back to the members in the network. Uh, the internet platform is uh, has also a possibility for online booking if the member company wishes to use it. And this is uh, something we hope to be able to grow uh, an interest for. It's a rather slow process right now. Norway, for instance, they use the same booking system and they have been more successful than we have been in Sweden actually so far. But we are looking at it and hopefully we will have a broader variety being presented also in the online booking system. But it's based on if the companies want to use it, they are welcome to use it. They don't have to use it. On the internet uh, site, you have the same information as you found on the product sheet and the pro uh, pro uh, uh, tag sheet. So all the information that the companies print down on the PDF files are used for producing the information on the internet platform. And we are using professional translators to get good quality on, on the text. Basically we work with two languages when it comes to the company and product presentations, English and Swedish, but there is the system is also uh, working with uh, other languages, so depending on the company's needs, there is a possibility for them to have as many languages as they wish. So we have some companies that use also German and Polish and Dutch at the moment. We are very happy that we have had a process when uh, starting this project or for this network because it has been uh, a long stretch to, to, to achieve the, the position we have today. And right now we're working on a business plan for the association. And uh, like I said, also we are <coughs> really looking at the great potential in the northern parts, or for the northern parts of Europe, when it comes to attracting more fishing pests to our local entrepreneurs. And like we have heard here today, Finland and Sweden and Norway, of course, we have similar products. But uh, if we want to get more customers from other parts of the world, I think we have to also uh, work smartly and try to raise funds to be able to market ourselves. How many minutes? Also.
Altogether, there are 175 ah, yeah, presented, yeah. and we have some 15 being presented. Well, there is here. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. Get more. And it's difficult. Many of these owners of these companies, they are they're single owners. They work alone in the company, and they don't really have the time to put in to decide whether or whether not to go in the booking system and to administrate the booking system. They, they think it's difficult and it's a process for them to get to know the system and see that it's not so complicated and that they can get help doing this. So I think it would take probably another six months until we see an effect of it. And the experience from the victim who are using it, do they get many customers through? I have one board member, Niklas Fjellström. Raise your hand. He's also an entrepreneur and he runs his business and he uses the, the internet booking system for his business. And he's, he's seen quite a good effects of it. How, how big percentage of your customers come through Sweden Fishing? Uh, for the moment, 35%. Uh, Very close. Yeah. And then uh, one question, like uh, I think this is for actually for Ismo who is running fishing in Finland. I think you have some numbers of how many visits you get to the fishing in Finland sites. Do you remember how many people visit the fishing in Finland? Not very many so far. Ah, oh, right. And also debates. Okay. How about the Sunderland project? Well, there are. Mm -hmm. Oh, there are some thousands uh, <coughs> of visits a month. This one was building up to call Sunderland. Yeah, this one I met first time at the fair in Bologna in Italy, 2011, when he was down there mm -hmm. marketing Finnish fishing possibilities. Uh, I have to say one more thing. Like uh, I think it's pretty special that Sweden fishing, what Sweden fishing is doing and fishing in Finland. Like uh, when I was inviting people, I called many times to Denmark and uh, Norway to ask that where is your Norway fishing, where is Denmark fishing. Basically, I found something like a bit of similar in Denmark. But why? And even USA, you don't have USA fishing for tourists. You have to go to states. Yeah, it's kind of crazy for a tourist that there is no um, portal for fishing in USA, and it's so big. You can make many. What the saying? Fishing in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> fishing in Asia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> more questions. A comment to that. Uh, let me see now, Norwegian friends, where are they? No, they're not here. <laughs> okay, <well. laughs> but, Yeah, I'm not there, okay. But uh, I feel that Norway, for instance, they have such a large support from their government when it comes to marketing Nor Norwegian tourists. So it's, they have solved it that way. In Sweden, it's very tough to be promoted for small, smaller tourist businesses in, 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 uh, on the export market. So we had to find a solution how to build a fund and to, to act internationally. And that's why we did this. And that's perhaps one answer to your question, why there is differences between Sweden and Norway, at least. But I mean, there are different roads to the to the target. I mean, if you look at uh, just like uh, while you talked about uh, just before here about Russia, very very much of the fishing, the attractive fishing in, in Russia, is sold directly uh, from a website for a destination directly to customers all over the world in America or wherever. Uh, in Norway. The marine fishing tourism has uh, been based a lot on on operators situated in in the key markets, like especially Germany. Uh, 
uh, I don't. I think it depends on the conditions in every country. What way is the right way to go forward? There's so many examples of successful marketing uh, stories in in in. The, not only in fishing, but in similar nature-based tourism products. You can see all kinds of, 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 of approaches. And one thing very interesting in Norway is that you also have very many successful businesses that are being operated by owners from Germany, from Poland, from yeah, other countries. They have seen the business opportunity for the sea fishing in Norway, and they are Sometimes they are also doing this in cooperation with Norwegians. I think that's probably one reason why it has become such a success. I'm not. I'm not sure if that's a, that's a very successful scene from Norwegian local economic point of view. Necessarily. No, I agree. Fully. <laughs> so there are different uh, views on, 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 on some of these things. Or very interesting. I have a question for you regarding the. Uh, your marketing and your charter markets. Have you done some analysis of where you want to go? But before, a little bit of warning to you. You mentioned Gavrikan. You know the most, the 11 most dangerous words in the world by Ronald Reagan. He says, a man walks into the room and he says, I am from the government, I am there to help you. Mm -hmm. You have. I'm very humble. I, I must say that, as you also have commented, this is not a quick fix and it, it's not it's the only way, of course not. But when we started the project, we had the pilot. We asked the areas, what markets do you think we should give priority to? And based on that, we decided where to focus more or less. We have the homepage in 11 languages, but we don't work on all, or we didn't work on all 11 markets, because the interest was not so big in, 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 these, in these areas that participated in, in that project from the beginning. I missed the first part of your talk, but I'm I'm wondering if you have a mechanism, or will have a mechanism, to evaluate the economic impact of uh, this process. Like you don't need it now, but once it's online, it seems like a few questions of survey built in would be very, very valuable to get an idea of what your return is for the investment. Speech will approach that subject a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, well, but you're quite right, and it's very difficult to get this type of information for, from all these companies also because <coughs> time, time is money, and they don't actually have time always to answer your questions, even though they seem to be the same. Still um, just a question about your domain. I wonder why you are not using SwedenFishing.se. Well, Com sounds purely commercial to me, and I understood that it's not that, that direction you are going. It's too expensive to buy for us. In Germany, you would use .de. You would not use yeah. .com. But it's owned by a private person, person. He, he he wants. Well, it's too much money to buy from you. Yeah, but sometimes you have to invest. Yeah. Did you have anything for me? It was just a comment to the, the marketing and, and what we have had a good success with in Fishing Seal, and obviously that comes from my background in, in the magazine and media business, but we haven't spent a dime on advertisement, um, but have had good success with getting our both the name and brand of Fishing Sealand in, in the media, but also the different tourist areas and, and local partners through editorial content and, and, and working <coughs> through a large network. It obviously takes time and work, but, but actually you end up getting very, very high value for your work through that. 
right? It's very important that all the actors, all the members in this network also keep working with their own marketing and work with their own contacts, of course. We can't do it for all of them. We have to do this together. Right, let's go to the next speed.